Brains is what we're making today, man. Brains in jello form because otherwise it would be just weird. Hey everybody, I am Eric the Drink Idiot, and today we are making jello, but not typical jello shots. It's gonna be in the shape of a brain. Now, this is about the size of my big head, so it's a fairly large mold. And I've never done jello shots in a mold before, so this could be an absolute pile of crap, or it could be freaking awesome. Uh, chances are, if you're watching this right now, it turned out uh, good enough for me to post. I don't tend to post absolute garbage, you know, so that probably means it turned out good. Now you might be wondering, why the heck would I choose to use something blue for a brain mold? You know, it's Halloween. If I want my zombies to have blue brains, they're going to have blue brains, okay? And it's modeled after the blue Hawaiian drink, which is a coconut pineapple type drink with a little berry flavor in there as well. And this particular uh, Jello shot recipe should turn out really good, even if it doesn't look like convincing zombie brains. It's also worth noting if you want a more realistic looking brain, if you're really that worried about it, you know, you could use a peach or a strawberry or something along those lines of a flavor, but then you wouldn't have a blue Hawaiian now, would you? Anyway, let's get started on this one. So as usual when it comes to jello shots, the first step is getting some boiling water going, and that is of course why I have this pot out here, and I have this single burner that I bought. Really nice little thing to have at the bar area. And this particular mold holds about 32 ounces, so I'm gonna be making a double batch. If you don't necessarily need that much, cut everything I tell you in half. Since it's a double batch, we're gonna start off with two cups of water. We're just gonna pour that in there. And of course, I'm just gonna turn this up to the max and get this water to a nice boil. Now once the water is up to a nice boil, you want to take some berry blue jello. And I'm using two boxes of the three. If you can find a box of the six, then just one, of course. But we're going to use this berry blue jello and put that in and give it a nice stir till it all gets dissolved. From there, I like to transport everything into another bowl just so I can stir it up and mix everything nicely. And you want to pour the jello into that bowl and we're going to add the following ingredients. So the main alcohol ingredient here is coconut rum and it's going to be an entire cup or eight ounces worth of coconut rum that's going to go into the bowl. Now to add even more blue to the color and of course because the original cocktail has it as well we're going to be using blue curacao. This is kind of an orange flavored liqueur that is colored blue to give it a nice effect in drinks. This is going to be four ounces of blue curacao. And finally, pineapple juice that gives that tropical nice flavor that we're looking for here. Now, there is a very important note when it comes to pineapple juice. Do not use fresh pineapple juice. I know this seems a little different than what I'm normally telling you. Usually I'm preaching fresh ingredients. However, in this case, no, do not. There are certain enzymes that are present in freshly squeezed pineapple juice that cause the gelatin to not gel correctly. So if you use fresh pineapple or if you use fresh pineapple juice in any kind of jello product, it will not set. So make sure you're using a bottled or a canned pineapple juice. Uh, same thing with pineapple chunks, you know, put them in a can, that enzyme's not present anymore and your gelatin will set. So it's going to be four ounces of our pineapple juice going in there. And this is just going to get a really, really nice stir. 
And then once it's cooled off a little bit, it's time to get ready to set the mold. Now, one of my biggest fears uh, of working with this mold is having the jello stick. Uh, and in my research, I found there are two ways to keep the gelatin from kind of sticking to the inside of the mold. The first way, which I'm doing, is taking a little bit of veggie oil and spraying a really light layer on the inside. It doesn't have to be a ton, just enough to kind of keep the inside of that mold greased up before we put the jello in there. Um, the other thing you can do is when you take it out of the refrigerator, take some hot water, dip this in some hot water up to the brim here, and allow it to sit there for maybe 15 seconds or so just to loosen up. And then you can take a plate, turn it over. Um, those are the two methods. Like I said, I'm using the vegetable spray method and hopefully that works out good uh, in my favor. Now that we have everything poured in the mold, it's time to throw that in the refrigerator for about four to eight hours, just depending until it's fully set. Then it's ready to roll. Okay, so it's been basically 24 hours. I've let this sit. Uh, I think it's set in like six hours, something like that. But, uh, you know, I had stuff going on, so I let it in there all day. And what I'm going to do, really, really simple, I have some hot water in here. I'm just going to dip this in the hot water a little bit. You know, not all the way to the top, obviously, but just enough to kind of uh, get that outside unsticky. You know what I mean? And probably like 10 to 15 seconds just to kind of try and loosen that up. And hopefully what it'll do is it will allow this brain to come out without ripping, without tearing the design so it kind of looks like it's intended to. I really hope. I want this to turn out really cool. So that should be good enough. So the next step is just going to be taking a plate like this and giving it a flip. It's not coming out. Okay, so it didn't come out at all on that flip. I'm also going to take one of these and kind of run it around the outside just to kind of maybe loosen that little bit up. Let's try this again. See if we can get it out. Fell out. This actually worked. It's exciting. This jiggly jello blue brain. And just to recap, what I found worked the best was to take this, uh, well, this is a metal uh, skewer, but you know, if you want to use a toothpick or something like that, similar, just run it along the inside here of this very top part and let it soak in some hot water for like 30 seconds to a minute is what it took and it came out nearly perfect there's only a little bit of remnants in there that did stick to the inside but overall I am stoked with the result now it's time to cut some brains Oh yeah, cutting into some zombie brains. Just bare finger in this stuff. Mm. Should have got a spoon. Not bad, not bad at all. A um, little bit of coconut, a little bit of berry. You don't taste much alcohol in this, which really, you know, coconut rum's not very potent anyway, but you just can't really taste any of the alcohol flavor. Uh, overall, very solid result. I'm happy with this. Seriously. Now again, if you're serving this with a bunch of guests, I wouldn't recommend bare handing it like I am. Like some kind of freaking animal over here. But, uh, I will say, this jello mold should stay good for about two to three days as long as you keep it covered and don't let air get to it as much as possible. Uh, if you don't want to do the mold 
the little souffle cups with the lids are perfect for jello shots and I would recommend that route for most jello shots. Either way, that is all for me today. You know, I'm going to finish eating these brains. Well, not the whole thing in one sitting. Holy crap. Anyway, I'm going to finish eating this little piece I cut off here, throw this back in the refrigerator, and uh, share it off later on. Remember, if you're interested in seeing any more cool Halloween stuff, I do have a playlist, and you can also subscribe down below, click the bell icon, you'll be notified when I post anything new, and all my videos in October on Fridays are going to be Halloween related. So until next time, I want to thank you for watching this one, and remember that if this idiot can do it, then so can you. Can't say I don't have a brain, because it's right there.